So why I thought it was important to focus on resiliency, when I first came to command, uh, I found through some statistics and through email that I was receiving that soldiers were in distress and that we really didn't have a holistic way of approaching the issue. And so the team thought, and I thought, the only way to let the command know that it is really important is to take time out and to focus on it. And so here we are conducting resiliency stand downs across the command. The stand down is about pro providing information and knowledge, knowledge to our leadership. We want to play the ATAG video to give them and summarize her vision, provide commanders and first sergeants the opportunity to talk to their soldiers. You know, what are the issues we're having in the unit from the soldier's perspective so they understand what their soldiers are looking for. Because I'm the senior HR, I deal with six other units that are comprised uh, mostly of males, but using my MRT skills, uh, some of my character strengths like being kind and uh, honest and loving, it helps change the atmosphere of what the guys have been used to uh, for, the, for the history of the infantry. Um, they're able to come in and open up and, and just talk about things that they're going through. It's about spiritual resilience. How do I, as a soldier, or as a family member, find balance. It's not just about religion, but find balance. How do I bring myself back to center and be able to rejuvenate? And then we have the resilience skills. One thing I like about the, the stand down that we're doing is that there's a piece in it called engage, and that's a specific training. But um, more importantly, the engage for me is that I'm engaged and the command is engaged at every level. Through the engage training, we're teaching our frontline leaders how to engage, understand your soldier's baseline. So when I see you deviating, well, something's not right with you, I, I can have a conversation with you to help you find those resources and whatever you need. I want to always try to you try to implement uh, the MRT program on a daily basis so that it's not something that's just presented when it's on the training schedule. I love helping people. I love uh, listening and trying to understand everyone from a different background. I think it makes me more well-rounded and I think it helps with the organization, the growth of the organization. And I think in the direction that we're moving in, um, it creates a better atmosphere. And I think that if people are able to express themselves, that it helps with retention. It makes people feel more welcome. One of the stories that we've heard is that a soldier wants their command to know their voice when they hear it in the ranks. And I think that's important. If, if I could hear that voice and I know who that is and I understand where they're coming from, that makes all the difference uh, in a soldier's life and uh, makes us a better organization.